Hi everyone, my name is Donna Duck. Welcome to Duck Talk with Donna, my discussion channel where every topic that I discuss. Alright, so the topic of this video is February 2022 music reviews. I've been doing this recently, just at the end of every month, I just review some songs that I really enjoyed that came out during that month. So it's February, there was a lot of artists who released a lot of music. Um, I just have a few of, like I said, that I really enjoyed listening to that came out this month. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first song I'm going to review is Freaky Deaky by Doja Cat and Tyga. This song was a hit. This song is going to be a hit. Um, there's a lot of people saying they can definitely see this song being a summer song. Um, I can hear it. I can definitely hear it on the radio playing over and over and <laughs> that's gonna be annoying but this song was very very good. It's like a soft pop like pop rap. You know those kind of those two dramas. Uh, very bubbly and happy and you know Doja Cat and Tyga they had a, a collaboration in the past on Doja's song Juicy and that song was a hit. You know their, their chemistry together is a vibe. It's, it's great. And in this song, you can definitely see it, you can definitely hear it, you know, in the music video and in the song itself. I love this song. You know, I love Doja Cat and her music, and this song with Tyga is just very good overall. Um, and this song was released February 25th. I meant to say that in the beginning, but I forgot. My, in an interview, Tyga said he's going to be releasing an album sometime this year. Um, and I think he said the song Freaky Dinky with Doja Cat will be on that album. So I'm looking forward to hearing his music coming up this year. I'm not really a big fan of Tyga, like him alone. He's had some great hits with collaborations with other artists. So, all right, so the next music review is actually two songs. They're both by Nicki Minaj and Lil Baby. So there's Do We Have a Problem, which was released February 4th that, you know, just got everybody talking. Everybody was looking forward to it. I know I was. And we got Bussin, which was released February 11th. These songs were both a hit. Um, you know, and Lil Baby complimented Nicki well on both these songs. Do We Have a Problem is, you know, Nicki Minaj was like singing a little bit. So I would kind of describe that song as like a pop rap song. And then Bussin was more of just like a rap song, you know, more bars. Do We Have a Problem, the flow was flowing. Like, just, just. Oh, this overall was just a great song. Um, so this song was definitely a hit. Like with Bussin again, the flow was flowing. I loved Bussin with Nicki Minaj and Lil Baby. You know they had they were doing this like back and forth thing, Nicki rap, Lil Baby rap, Nicki rap, Lil Baby, and that was just oh that that drew me in. Like that was that was awesome. Um, and regarding Nicki's songs, do we have a problem? We will have a problem if that's it. You know, if that's if this is all Nicki Minaj is going to release, I am going to be sad because honestly, you know, she put out these songs, so now all the Nicki fans are thirsty for more. So hopefully, she'll have some more music coming out soon. So the next music review is "Baking on Me" by Gunna. This was released February 14th. This song was like a you know it was released on Valentine's Day, so it was it was a great song for Valentine's Day, you know, like a little love song. Um, you know, Gunna had hits after hits this year. He had his, released his album in January. I listened to it. I'm not the biggest fan, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, it was, a, it was a good album, just not something I would continue to listen to. And, uh, but I love the song Baking On Me um, that he released February 14th. You know, fans rumored that it was about a, the budding relationship between Gunna and Chloe Bailey. You know, this was a, people talked about that for a little bit, but Chloe Bailey herself said that you know they're not dating uh, in an interview in January. So, <laughs> regardless, though, this song was a great song. Um, I loved it. Next music review is by Kodak Black, "Back for Everything." This is his album. He released February 25th. Um, so I listened to Kodak Black in the past, you know, just like a, he made some trap music and I listen to Trump Trap, but not really. Like I said, I like chill music, just, you know, low beat, 
Um, but I do enjoy some trap music in this album. I really enjoyed this album. Uh, I definitely listened to it a few times. Um, so Kodak has been through some crazy stuff in the past years. So hearing this album, it was like a you can hear you can hear through his lyrics, through the beat, through the music, how he's just rapping about the craziness that's been going on in his life. You know, he raps about his struggles, his feelings, and his success and power. And you can really hear the work Kodak put in his album. So, all right, the next music review is by Midwest. I hope I said his name right because it's spelled like this. But this was released February 23rd called I Know You Hate Me. This song is like an emo rap, you know, kind of pump rap genre kind of vibe to it. It was described as an anthem of self reflection. And he had a previous single he released called Riddle. I believe he released that back in January. Um, he described that as his most personal song. And listening, this is like my first time ever hearing of Midwest and listening to his music. I really enjoyed, like I'm not, I'm not a fan of punk rap, but I really enjoyed um, what he had to say, what he rapped about. Um, you know, you really hear the story behind the lyrics. Um, and he says he has a new extended playlist coming March 16th. So I will be, I'm looking forward to listening to that and just listening more of his work. All right, and the last music review is by Sanchia featuring 21 Savage. It's a single called Are You That? Uh, released February 15th. This is also one, no, it's like my second time listening to Sensia and her music. Uh, she released a single with Megan Thee Stallion earlier, um, I think in January, called Lick. Uh, I wasn't a fan of that song, not really, um, but I really love this Are You That. Sensia is a Jamaican like dance hall artist. Um, I really enjoyed the song. Um, it was like a, it was like kind of pop also rap you know and so i guess it could be described as a pop rap song someone described it as like a vacation song you want to it makes you want to go on vacation yes i can see that since she actually said she'll be releasing uh her album called alpha march 11th so i will be looking forward to listening to that and i look forward to hearing more of her work in the future all right so some other music news that i feel like it was worth mentioning Rihanna is coming back. She said in an interview that she is working on new music. Um, you know, she has been teasing her fans for a few years saying she's listening to, she made the music and she's listening to it. What I've been, I've been doing some research and so ASAP Rocky confirmed that Rihanna will be on his next record, All Smiles, in an interview in July back in 2021. That's what I was doing. I was doing some research because I was like, is she really going to release the album? Because I know a few times in the past, people have said that she was going to release some music and she did it. So I was like, okay, what's, what's going on, you know? So um, hopefully we'll be getting some new music from Rihanna in the future. Also, Toby Lou, he's one of, like, one of my favorite artists, actually. Um, I love his work. I love his music. And he said he's going to be releasing his album March 11th. He's been teasing it on his Instagram and I've just, you know, just been keeping track. So I will be looking forward to hearing more of his music in the future. So with that being said, those are the music reviews that, you know, I just enjoyed in the month of February. Um, I have a playlist that I put these songs on it and I'll link it in the description. It's on YouTube music. That's what I used to listen to music so with that being said i really hope you enjoyed this video if you like the video like the video subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell to be notified for further videos which will be soon and until the next video